hello guys welcome back to my channel happy new year guys happy new year to all jeweling subscribers you guys are the bomb i love you guys with my whole heart so today guys i'll be making grilled catfish look at this yummy grilled catfish like it was so delicious when we had it so guys please watch this um, video as i'm going to show you guys how i made this yummy catfish you guys just stay tuned and watch the video thanks for watching so guys i have here my catfish you can see how big this catfish is yeah we are just two eating one like one catfish for each person because i will not want anybody to shut my ration so i have here my suya pepper i got it from those suya guys who normally sell suya and i have my lemon i'm gonna squeeze in lemon juice you guys know then i have my salt to taste i have ginger i have maggi crayfish maggi crayfish oh my god this maggi people won't you people come and meet me like this i love maggi maggi products I have my onion and I'm going to be using these three big onion you are seeing here. Then next, I'm going to be using pepper, fresh pepper. They call this pepper habanero pepper, but to people here in um, Lagos, we call it... But for people here in Lagos, we call it shombo. That is what Yoruba people call it. <laughs> Oh, they call it shumbo so i have the green one and i have the red one as you can see and i have my tomato next is my foil you cannot grill catfish without a foil that one no possible no possible at all so time to blend my pepper guys look at this blender oh my god this blender is so wonderful i'm selling it i told you guys i'm a businesswoman come and patronize your girl patronize me you know yeah i sell blenders don't mind this pepper i already i already washed this pepper is already washed you can still see the stick on them don't mind they are washed already and now i want to shred it right now like i want to just shred it not like i want to grind i'm dividing into two the ones i want to do here i want to um shred the other ones I want to the other uh, part of the pepper I'm going to blend it with water so watch me as I do so guys part the shredding part now i want to blend like the real blending i didn't tell you guys this food processor came in two like two in one it has this um shredding one this one you can use in making your pounded yam any other thing then it has this one you can use in making your smoothie you want your pepper to be smooth into puree like going to be um very very smooth you can use this particular one i'm using right now but the other one you can use it for for your pounded yam yes it can make your pounded yam very 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 smooth and this this food processor has all blades every blade that you're looking for and they are very very cheap i'm going to put because i sell them on jumia i sell on conga i'm going to put the jumia and conga link under this um video so you guys can just go click the link and purchase it yes you're also purchasing from me but if you want me to send it to you directly why not i can do that for you guys i can do that for my subscribers yeah so now i want to grind this one into puree
Now here, let me explain something that is happening here. You can see I'm pouring the pepper I grinded from that blender into um, a strainer. You can see because I want the water, everything to come out of it. You notice that this, this pepper is not that smooth because that is how I want it. You can make it smoother than this. It depends on how you want it. The blender, I mean the, the food processor can do all this for you. As long as you can control it, like you can control it to anything you want. So this is exactly the consistent I want. I just want that one to just shred and I want this one to blend but not, I don't want it to be totally smooth actually. That is my plan because I want to see the pepper. I want to eat the pepper because me, I like something that is very, very spicy. can see I'm having the shredded pepper oh my god this looks so beautiful the green inside like the green habanero pepper inside it sorry I don't know if this pepper is called habanero but please correct me I'm so sorry if I'm making a mistake but that green pepper inside it is like it's making the pepper look so so yummy like it's making the stuff the mixture look so beautiful that is exactly the reason why I added that green pepper. And this green pepper has this particular taste that it gives. So now I'm adding my suya pepper. This suya pepper, I got it from this guy around my area who sells ram suya. This guy's ram suya is so delicious. In fact, I love the pepper. So each time I want to grill, I go there and tell him, I want to buy your suya pepper. I don't buy suya pepper elsewhere apart from this particular guy. Hmm. Now, you can see I'm mixing. I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. Yeah. I had to pour all the suya pepper inside. Guys, please, when you're making yours, you might not add this much pepper I'm adding. Me, myself, I like spicy food. My husband can even testify to it. I love spicy food. For my friends who are watching this video, you know that I love spicy food. You might not make your, your you, you might not make yours this spicy. You get so now you mix together. So after stirring, the next thing I'm going to be adding now is um, my salt to taste. Yeah, I don't mind my salt, but the, the fish wasn't salty, actually. So, next, I'm going to be adding my Maggi um, crayfish. I added, I added two cubes of Maggi crayfish. Two cubes.
So here I already laid the um, foil on the table and then I washed the fish very well. For those of you for those of you who, who do, like who saw blood, they are going to see blood those time it was already washed but because I was cutting you know definitely blood was going to come out. So right now I already washed it again the second time. Now I will add the pepper to it. Fried dodo. So I'm putting, you can see me putting the fried dodo inside the fish. 